welcome back to this channel. Um, today I want to talk about uh, something that I've been asked for a while. So uh, there's some video that uh, someone made that was talking about uh, the reasons why women might not want men. So today I want us to talk about uh, 10 reasons why men may not like a woman. So if you're a woman out there, and you've been trying to get into the dating scene and you find that every time you're trying this you end up failing so I want you to know in these 10 reasons maybe that's where uh, your luck disappeared these characteristics are not meant to stigmatize anyone but to help educate you and maybe help you realize where things don't go right so I'll go straight ahead and start with the first one. Uh, the first reason why maybe men may not like you is because uh, you might appear to be very needy. So you may need uh, too much attention or you are just always needing a guy, a guy help. So there are these uh, uh, women who just like uh, being helped even if it doesn't um, require any help. They just want to be helped and that makes somebody, uh, maybe like a man, feel like you are too much to handle. So there are plenty of things that you can do on your own and you don't have to necessarily rely on a man's uh, help. And you know, most of us men take pride in, women will take care of themselves as well. So if you always need a guy help, then you are a turn off too so many men. Um, the second reason is that you talk too much. So there are those people who are just like chatterbox and don't be there. Don't be that kind of person. Just be an average talker. Don't be so over eager to speak uh, even when it's not uh, appropriate to say whatever you're saying. You have time to <coughs> listen to someone about them about uh, the issues that are affecting them and if you don't have this time and you just keep on talking and talking and talking then you end up not having a serious conversation with people because you don't have that time to listen you just talk so nobody would want to be around someone who doesn't listen to anything and just talk like maybe a chatterbox so if you have a man and then you just talk about things that only you can relate to and they can't relate to it then you're already pushing people away from yourself. Uh, the third reason is that uh, you have poor listening skills. So this goes right along with the uh, point I was making before, whereby you talk too much. But then uh, you need to learn to listen more and also talk less. Ask questions uh, that will help you to know you are maybe your crush or maybe your uh, man or maybe your boyfriend or maybe your friend, male friend better so that you can be able to uh, learn to deal with them in a better way than when you just talk about your own, your own interest and all that. So you learn more about them and then uh, they may, you may find something common that interests both of you and which you can always spend time talking about or maybe you can spend time doing together. So. Uh, you need to have that listening skill. So if you have poor listening skills, then know that it is a zero for you. And then uh, the fourth point, you create drama. So most women um, are prone to this. Small stuff can end up creating a lot of uh, maybe big drama. And sometimes maybe it's in an in a inappropriate place. So you go to maybe a hotel and then you are, you are relaxing besides um, a swimming pool, just having your drinks and then somebody just, from a small stuff, maybe like a, an SMS, someone just blows up and then create a scene. So men don't like people who do such kind of things. So you don't need to crave for so much excitement and then end up creating drama in the process. So men, we don't want to, to be with a person that uh, is of such kind of character. It's some kind of high maintenance. 
uh, it's high maintenance in quotes because you have to invest a lot of emotional uh, <coughs> emotional cushions around such kind of people because they don't uh, know when to do what and when not to do what in front of people or maybe just in um, a place where drama cannot be tolerated. So don't be the purposefully argumentative person. Don't be, don't be very moody. Don't be stuck up and full of yourself or just being arrogant. Because if you are, have this kind of characters, arrogance, uh, being stuck up, being moody, and being what? Full of yourself, you just end up being what? Creating drama in a place where it's not very appropriate. So, some men are just intimidated by women like this, and they feel like you are out of their what? Their league, and you don't want to. They don't want to feel like uh, they have to prove a point to be in this kind of relationship. So, it's uh, this one can end up creating a sense of maybe one of these times I'll be rejected, and we don't want that as men. Try to be more relatable, approachable, and easygoing, so that you don't uh, create the impression of, of a drama queen. Um, number five, you are inflexible. So, you know, in relationships, people come up with uh, new stuff. So, maybe it's uh, the way you do your things, the way you relate, the way you maybe move around. So if you are inflexible, it means that you don't accommodate uh, new stuff into your relationship. So if you are picky about every single thing that uh, you do in your life, and then that means that you can't be able to give chance to new stuff or new experiences. So men aren't interested in women. They have to really pamper too much because if you can't do something new, then it means that this person will have to go out of their way to make sure that they try and impress you and that is too much energy for people who are also in the process of doing other stuff to keep themselves uh, maybe sane or maybe um, provided for. So uh, we would rather be with someone who's, who is easy to get along with and have fun and hang out with. So if you can't maybe just leave the house and go have maybe go uh, hike a mountain or maybe hike a hill or something. You just want to be within the house and do all that stuff. You don't want to be seen outside uh, doing this thing that other people do. Then um, that inflexibility cannot really work to your advantage if you are to uh, get someone to be with us as a man. So um, women, I hope you're learning something. Um, number six, you have trouble making decisions. So, do you have trouble making up your mind, or do you do you need advice uh, and on the smallest of things that you have to do? So, you know, when you start a relationship in the beginning, it's somehow always allowed for you to not have a way of making up your mind quickly, but then. At that point, it might look a little bit sexy in a way, but then know that with time, uh, men will expect you to make decisions without necessarily needing help to do that. So if you keep on asking for small stuff like you want to go to the salon, uh, which time should I put? You are the one to make a decision of what you want to do because that is, it's about your looks and all that. So, go do your stuff without necessarily asking for a decision from the, from your man. And then, you know, when you keep on asking for uh, decisions towards what you want to do, or you can't make that decision on your own, mm -hmm. it means that even in your life when you get to marry, or even get serious with this person, you will always be going out to ask people about uh, even the small stuff that you need to keep within your cycle. So you end up uh, asking people about uh, things that can sometimes even be intimate, that don't need to be, to leave the walls of your house. So men might be scared of that, and then uh, they might leave you because they won't want somebody who will do this in their, uh, in their life. Yeah. 
So <coughs> the seventh point is that uh, you have too high of expectations. So if you have uh, healthy expectations, uh, that's great. However, if guys feel like you, no matter what they do, it won't be good enough for you, then they will rather move on to find someone who can uh, cherish them for what they have and for what they do for them. So if you have all these high expectations and you're not in a position yourself to maybe accomplish that expectations on your own without the man in your life, then you know that that is a, a clear path to uh, being alone because men will not want someone who even after trying all that they can, they feel that nobody appreciates them and their effort is not appreciated by the person that they, uh, they have in their life. So be watchful of your expectations and try to uh, do what? Try to be somebody who, who is somehow appreciative of all the, even the small stuff that happens to you. And it's through the, through the man's effort, please be appreciative of that. And very, men, very many men will want to go out there and do even better and bigger things because they have that motivation that if I do this, they will appreciate. Okay, so to the, to the eighth point, um, you are selfish. So um, most of us, I think I can say this about all the genders, both men and women, um, we tend to be selfish in one way or the other in relationships, but because if every single thing you concentrate on is always about you and your problems, it's a big turn off. And if you always have to have your way, you may be suffering from selfishness. So if these things happen this way, and you, you have to make sure that it favors the side. And whichever thing that happens in the house or maybe in that relationship is always, ha I always have to do with, uh, with you. So it becomes exhausting because on one side, someone is really struggling to uh, make you happy. But then, what about them as individuals? What is it that you're doing in uh, reciprocal that can be able to help them feel like they are uh, mutual partners in this kind of relationship? So if you are a selfish person, then it's always, uh, it takes you to a point where no one would really like to be associated with you as a woman and you end up being a lonely person. So this is something that you can work on. Um, try focusing on the other person more and find out uh, what could be done more to help them also feel like uh, equal partners in this kind of relationship. Uh, the ninth point is that uh, you are passive aggressive. So if you are this kind of person who nag and refuse to let any little thing go, then it means that you are somehow uh, a passive aggressive person. So if this happens so often, um, it means that you will be expecting men or uh, the person that you are in, in you are in, you are in that relationship to always read your mind and know exactly what you want and you know this kind of people there is no way that unless you have some magical powers you cannot know what somebody wants and you cannot read their mind and tell this is what they want in their, in their life so in your love life find out what is it really that you want as a woman or as a lady that you want your man to do for you and communicate it. So most men hate women who are passive aggressive. They prefer to be in a, a relationship with that person or with a, a lady who will say what they what they mean and clarify how she feels about whatever it is that is going on at that particular time or maybe in their life or in their relationship. So. Uh, you should try to be more straightforward about your wants and needs and communicate it out there so that uh, if it is ignored, 
you've already communicated and you can tell that I did my part. So maybe after that you can say that, okay, they did do for me this and I wanted this to be done. Then the last point is that uh, lack of ambition. So most women, um, you might find that you are in a relationship with someone, but then your whole being is dependent on their what? Their ambitions are not your ambitions. So uh, to some extent, it will appear as if you are this kind of person who has nothing really in life to offer this man. So if you appear to be an ambitious, then many men will find you not really uh, suitable for their hand in marriage or hand in relationship and you end up uh, asking yourself why is it that men really run away from me yet I'm beautiful, I have all the things that a man can look for. So uh, ladies, if you're out there and you're listening to this or you're seeing, watching this video, please you can work on those uh, sides, you can work on those characteristics if you have them, you can also improve yourself, try to go out there and learn more about uh, what really men are looking for and all that, but then I'm not saying that this will work magic in your life or your relationship life or your love life, but you can use this one to help you propel or adopt a new way of uh, doing things and a new way of living your life. So. Uh, this video was uh, helpful to you, uh, thank you very much and I hope that you subscribe, you like the video and share it with people who need this kind of information. Bye bye until next time.